The outgoing president at NMSU will receive a hefty paycheck once he leaves his job. John Fleuros announced last week he is stepping down as president. Per his contract, if Fleuros is removed from the position before 2023 or chooses to voluntarily relinquish his role, he's allowed to take a one-year sabbatical while being paid $450,000. After that, he can take a faculty position, which he will, in NMSU's College of Agriculture, Consumer, and Environmental Sciences. NMSU Chancellor Denner Visu is answering questions about the transition. He's got a tenured track position out with the faculty in the department and in the discipline of his study. And at the same time, um, he'll get one year of sabbatical paid at his uh, president's salary. And then he returns to a salary that is commensurate with the, the top salaries of that discipline in that college. Now, Floros' decision comes amid a lot of controversy. NMSU student and faculty governments called for Floros and the university provost to step down last year over claims of misappropriated funds, unethical hiring and promotion practices, and circumventing due process in labor disputes. Now, the chancellor says the Board of Regents has commissioned an independent review of that. It's been asked if that played a role in his sabbatical. Process is about complete. I have not seen the outcomes of that review uh, or the conclusions at this point. I think it's probably still a week or two away. Um, but uh, that didn't influence the decision directly. I mean, there's obviously influences in a variety of different ways. The chancellor says the university will not fill Floros' position. He will take over both roles with his $500,000 salary. Now that is how the university had been set up until 2018 with one leader. Gary Carruthers, who long covered both roles, was paid $385,000 a year.